How do we approach the earth and nature from a position of abundance? And to me, the key lies in virtuous circles. Because a lot of our behavior now is a vicious circle. We overfish the oceans. We take too much from the earth and we produce too much pollution. And we send out too many greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. And this is a circle which gets worse and worse and worse. And it drags us down to a position we don't want. But the circle can work the other way. The circle can make life better every time. Every time it gets a little bit better. This is another form of an upcycle. If we were to harness these virtuous circles, these upcycles, we could make life better all the time. We could improve it for ourselves and for the natural world. And this is really thinking beyond what we have now. When we talk about sustainability, we want to sustain a situation. We want to keep it the same. We're very conservative. We just want the world to be like it was 100 years ago or 500 years ago or 2000 years ago. Sometimes we think that the next step after sustainability is restoration. Let's restore the planet to the way it was in the past. But even so, that is looking backwards. Why don't we make the shift to looking forwards? What is the planet that we want to live on? What is the relationship with nature and with the animal kingdom that we want to have? And how do we create that future? How do we create that beautiful future that we want for ourselves? And we can use the natural abundant processes that exist on Earth in order to do that. And the key is to start seeing virtuous circles, to start using them, and to start spreading them.